Marines instead of that early expansion, which I presume right now is um, what we're going to be seeing from our Terran player. Yeah, it definitely looks like he's going to open up with an FD Terran build. That's yeah. a fake double. He's going to be looking to uh, trick trick his opponent into thinking he's going to factory but i mean this is such a common build at this point you know i don't even think it can be called fake double anymore. yeah i was <laughs> i gotta agree with you on that i was calling that fake double a lot in the gum cast but eventually i just started calling it fast expo because it, you're not really tricking anybody anymore that whole um you know that whole mind game that was going on really isn't even part of the meta game anymore this is pretty much what terrans do if they want to fast expand and fast expand safely yeah, it's, it's such a safe build, and we see that LX, he's going two gate range plus Observer. So, you know, this can be a strong build against the FD Terran because, you know, as you see, Spider Mines there, he really is going to rely upon the Spider Mines to slow down his opponent, keep him from getting to his base, and that's going to slow down how quickly he has to get Siege Mode. And without Siege Mode, uh, this Dragoon Rush could be quite strong. You know, I have to say, initially I was going to say Super um, is putting his mines in an unusual spot. That's not outside of his base. That's in the line that a DT would walk through before you would send the Zealot through there to eat up most of the mines. And then he sends a Vulture down here to the middle left to check to see if there's anything else hidden over there um, that might make those mines less useful. So Super's playing really well. Yeah, you know, he's checking out everything. He knows that LX is a very volatile style, yeah. and he wants to make sure that nothing uh, pops out of nowhere and really surprises him. And we see he is really playing very safe. He's getting Siege Mode already, second factory going up, and the Engineering Bay as well. So, you know, it looks like he's going to be safe in time so that this uh, two-gate range plus the Observer should not break through. So his economy is going to start out a little bit stronger, and he's going to be in good shape. I, I gotta agree with you there. Um, because you did plant these mines so far out, and this Observer Dragoon combination is pretty much gonna clean that up. But really, LX was preparing for any type of rush style. And right now, LX is actually um, not playing like that. He's doing um, a very, very defensive play that could lead into offense um, of two gate mass dragoons. Yeah, and you know, he is getting a uh, robotic support bay, so he's going to have Reaver tech out pretty quickly here, as we see. And these two vultures coming up, and he could actually get some good kills here. Look at that, three probes already down, four probes down, and is he going to get the fifth? Yeah, he gets the fifth, but uh, those vultures do get cleaned up, so actually, you know, sacrificing just two vultures for five probes at this point in the game, that's actually really quite an awesome move by Super. Especially when the Nexus has, hasn't finished. Had he got a Nexus earlier up, he could have replaced that probe supply a little bit quicker, but um, it's only just now finishing. And remember, the Terran did pretty much expand before his opponent, so that's really going to be hurting for the Protoss. Yeah, and we see, look at this, turret rings going up all over the place, so he is going to be ready for the Reaver before it comes. And... Oh, look at this. He's going to try to elevate her up. LX is going to drop some Dragoons on the high ground. Wants to get a good portion of his army up there to pressure Super from behind. Well, here comes the elevator technique. Not a bad idea on a map like Medusa. Medusa is pretty much a map where the Terran can't control every corner of his base. Even if Terran spots this, he might have a hard time dealing with it. However, you're really investing a lot um, of your entire standing in the game when you do an elevator strategy. If it doesn't work, you may very well lose, especially if you're taking damage uh, with your shuttle like that. Yeah, that's horrible to take that damage. And one of the main things about Elevator is it takes a long time to execute. So now that he has those Dragoons up there, he has to do a lot of damage because Super's going to clean this up real quick. And here the Dragoons go right into the Siege Tanks. But there are a ton of units here for Super. And it looks like he's not going to take too much damage overall. You know, I think he should have split up those Dragoons a little bit better. It's eight Dragoon shots to kill a tank. So usually you want to have four attack. Um, each tank and he didn't quite utilize it as well as he could have. Now he's retreating back here. Um, I, I don't really agree with the elevator strategy overall here because he didn't look like he's going to follow it up with a Reaver and if he was the Reaver certainly wasn't going to get there in time for it to matter. Oh but take that take that thought and put it on hold. Here he is attacking the front now where the tanks are not and the Reaver is back into this. I Perhaps uh, LX is going to prove me wrong here. And look at that, he's targeting that uh, turret, so he could fly the Reaver into the expansion to help out, but no, he goes for the main. That, that shuttle is taking a ton of damage right now, and really, he should be backing up into that naturally. You see the SCDs fighting off the Dragoons, but he is staying in around the other units, which, that's a little bit odd of a choice, I think. Yeah, a little bit unusual. What he needs to do is start getting SCVs. It's not about taking out the Terran's ground army here. That's just the obstacle in the way. And right now, he hasn't dealt too much damage to these SCVs. Um, he has killed several with the Dragoons, but I'm really looking for a good Reaver shot here. 
Yeah, the Reaper hasn't done that much damage so far, but, you know, he's really slowing down Super, and in the meantime, on the minimap, you can see he's taking another base. So, as long as he can just keep uh, Super losing a few units here and there, he loses the Reaver now, but as long as he can make him lose a few units, make extra turrets, lose a few SCVs, uh, LX is going to pull ahead with this third Nexus. Well, LX is really starting to catch up um, in the Econ game here. I'm surprised to see he has done so much damage. He could do a lot more uh, if he does successfully land his Reaver in that location over there um, in the far left corner of the far right expansion for Terran. Yeah, and look at this now. They, oh, the shuttle oh! goes down. All right, so... Oh, look at this. A fast, fast, fast three add-on. This is very unusual for Terran versus Protoss, especially off of two base. You never see three add-ons this quickly. What do you think? Do you think he has some kind of excess in Vespian gas right now? You know, uh, I, I, I don't think so, but he is getting that second gas right away. So, uh, you know, super, he is a tank-heavy Terran. A lot of Terrans, you know, in the old school like more vultures. But, you know, he's very tank-heavy. And as long as he's very careful protecting those siege tanks, this is going to be a very powerful strategy, especially on Medusa with those temples. Well, as far as I can tell, usually when you get a lot of add-ons, that generally means lots of tanks. Um, although it was a bit odd to see him mining... Um, with only one SCV at his expansion uh, refinery. We're going to find out if this pays off or not, but here's a very early um, timing counterattack, a little bit earlier than we would have expected. LX um, does not have a shuttle, or at least one that we see. He does have a Reaver, so a shuttle's probably going to be on the way, but he's going to need to get a shuttle out if he's going to deal with this properly because I don't believe he has the Zealot count um, and certainly not a shuttle here to um, deal with well-placed siege tanks, especially in combination with Spider Mines. Yeah, and look at this. Here comes the pressure now, and those Zealots, I do not believe, have speed. And yes, they do not. And this could be very devastating against LX. Look at this. The Dragoon's falling, but he is not sieging up at all. And here comes the shuttle. Shuttle out just in time here. That, if that shuttle did not come out, we may have seen um, a little bit of a different game here. But gosh, now um, I think Super's definitely overextended himself. So he's going to be on the run right now. And you really can't afford to lose tanks like this, even when you can clearly see Super is planning on getting a lot of tanks in this series. Yeah, you know, he's going to be able to refill the tanks, sure, but his next push is going to be a lot weaker than it could have been. You know, right. losing about six to eight tanks, plus about eight vultures. That is not something you want to do at this point in the game. You really need to wait for that critical mass to roll the Protoss over. Well, LX doesn't want to overextend himself and throw away his advantage here either. Um, and I think he's definitely done a little bit of that. I think he gave away about four Dragoons. Um, however, going for the Armory right now would be a very bright move. Um, it doesn't look like his Reaver's target firing it yet, but if he could get that Armory, um, that would really hurt the Terran in the upgrade game. And thank God for Super, he did not. Yeah, yeah, Super has to be thankful there. He definitely needs that plus one finishing. You know, yeah. Terran, the entire Terran late game is based around upgrades. So to lose an armory this early in the game can be really, really devastating as it gets into the late game. Oh, especially when you consider the fact that Terran does not have a huge tank count anymore. So he needs those siege tanks to deal as much damage in splash mode um, as he possibly can. One thing that Terran's probably going to be doing micro-wise is having his siege tanks right-clicked on groups of Dragoons so that he can really dish out a lot of splash damage. Um, it's going to be tough for him, though, right now. It is. You know, we just saw he does not have a whole lot of SCVs at his natural expansion. Uh, you know, he's missing a few depots here from that Reaver attack. Just now starting his third command center. In, in the meantime, LX is taking his fourth base, as you can see. So LX really getting a huge economical advantage, as well as killing the first army of Super. You know, I have to say that LX has secured himself a good lead in the mid-game. All right, well, here comes Super. Um, unfortunately, these Vultures are not really going to do as much damage because I don't believe they're going to get the Nexus. We haven't gotten it yet. The Nexus HP is fine. So unfortunately, really no damage dealt here, although he may put the Protoss out of position. Another very aggressive pusher by Super. I'm a little bit surprised by his aggression. In fact, I don't even agree with this move. Yeah, you're right there. This is a horrible move. Look at this. He's only got about four Vultures there. Speed is done for the Zealoth, so he's going to be able to crush right into the Siege tank line. And if Super loses another army, it is big.